Welcome to Poker Market, making poker more efficient. Hey guys, this is Paul, aka Internet, coming at you with the second part of my NL5000 review video. So if you didn't watch the first part, I managed to get a recording of a session I played at 2550. And I'm going to review what I have recorded and try to talk about as many spots as possible. And just really quickly to get you back up to speed, the guy who's currently in the big blind is the target. And everybody else seems to be pretty solid. Um, so here first spot that comes up is Jack9 suited against the 2.25 big blinds. Um, pretty easy call. I think not too much to talk about. No reason to 3-bet at all when the spot is in the big blind here. We definitely want to try to get that throw you a pot going and we do um, checks and checks alright so important question here is well, we certainly have a value bet against the big blind not particularly close however important question is what is the open raiser doing how often is he going for a check race here um, how often is he check calling something better and what sizing is good um, I think uh, one thing which is kind of important here is how quickly the open riser checked, which was reasonably quickly. So I think we can uh, take out some um, thoughtful slow plays um, where he would think, you know, my calling range here uh, behind is going to be a lot of medium and low cards, which means I'm going to have a very high uh, flop betting frequency. Um, so, I, I mean, I don't really think he's ever going for a check raise or a strong check here. And if he does have um, aces, kings, queens, though... There's a chance you may check raise of a bet particularly small, and that's something I kind of want to avoid. But since I have a hand which is a clear value bet against the big blind, I think I just do a reasonably sized bet, and, and that should be fine. Um, so what does that mean, reasonably sized? I think anywhere from two-thirds to pot size is fine, so somewhere from 250 to um, pot size. Um, looks like I decided to go for half pot or slightly below half pot. Mm, I think I like the sizing in general in this situation, but I really don't like it when I just have a clear value bet against the spot at the table and my hand can usually call a check raise and I do have the situation that the open raiser may definitely be checking something like well aces kings queens and then once I bet small he may be like well that's very unlikely to be a stronger hand than mine as I would certainly bet bigger with a stronger hand most of the time so that is a very small downside not that significant but yeah alright so we get the call from both of them and they both check turn again. So flush completes. Uh, how often does the open raiser have a flush? I think it's pretty easily answered. Uh, there's very few flush draws he would check call on the flop. Um, I mean, all the not flush draws are certainly uh, betting or check raising when they get that option. And then there's only like his weakest possible flush draws. I mean, he was mid position. Maybe he's going to have something like a king two of clubs or uh, queen five. I. Yeah, but I, I virtually see like very, very few flush combos in his range. Um, big blind certainly has anything from two pair, a few straights, a lots of flushes, better 9x, um, and the pair plus straight draw things. Um, I think one thing I could do here, which just depends how bad the big blind is, is make a really, really big bet, like, I don't know, maybe pot size, which functions as a bluff against the mid position regular, who is going to be folding aces, kings, queens, um, ace 9, king 9, queen 9 and functions as a thin, probably too thin, but th would function as a thin value bet against the big blind. Now, I do think that is too thin here. I don't think the big blind is that bad, but it's a pretty neat idea to try and do that. And then, of course, we're going to be checking back river. But basically, if, if I pot size here and the fish calls and the open raiser has, like, queens, he's, I mean, you can't really expect me to have anything that's worse than queens going for a pot size bet there. Um, and, I mean, I mean, even if he did know my range was going to be 10-9 and better, um, he still pro uh, can't find a call there with queens because, you know, very few hands that are actually worse than the than queens since I do have all the two pair, all the sets, all the straights, all the flushes. So um, I think that's a pretty cool option, but I do think that's too thin. Instead, I'm actually not too sure uh, what I did here, um, thinking about it. It's been a while, but um, I do think best play is going to be make another small bet, which 